In Pennsylvania, just reported more than 9,500 new cases of COVID-19, pushing the Commonwealth past half a million cases since the pandemic began. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe reports from North Philadelphia, where doctors are doing everything they can to make sure the vaccination process runs smoothly. Despite us dealing with this virus since March, doctors say we are just now in the beginning of the fight. I looked at the study. I feel very confident about it. So people are nervous, but I think as they see more and more people get vaccinated, their confidence will build. Confidence from Philadelphia's top health official that the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine will help. Dr. Thomas Farley says initial shipments of the vaccine arrived in Philadelphia on Monday. Shipments will occur weekly until everyone who wants a vaccine can get one. You know, it's that, that moment where the tides have turned, things have shifted, we can now go on the offensive. Uh, that's what we're really beginning to see in this vaccination. Dr. Tony Reed is Temple University's medical officer. They have nearly 8,000 frontline workers to vaccinate and anticipate it will take them weeks to do. Because the vaccine can cause flu-like side effects, hospitals are issuing the vaccine on a rolling basis, so staffing issues don't get worse. We have to be realistic as well. It is going to take significant period of time to roll out the vaccine. The vaccine comes as Philadelphia is averaging a thousand new cases a day and nearly 100 deaths a week. Each state developed their own guidelines. Generally, frontline health care workers are the first to get the vaccine. It's a priority ranking that the national government has developed and that the local advisory committees come up with that includes things like health care workers and then people in long term care facilities, the staff and the residents who work there. And then they'll move on to what we call critical infrastructure workers, people who have to work throughout all this and are exposed every day. And as for the general public, we are not expected to be able to get this vaccine until late spring. Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.